A quick judo throw to armbar finish for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. A great one too. Hey guys, Coach Tom here. I'm here to talk about one of my favorite techniques. This technique was recently used by one of uh, students um, to medal in a, a tournament we had. And uh, it's a technique that I see used on my mats all the time. Uh, it's one of my favorite throws that leads into one of my favorite techniques. But we're really looking today and we're presuming that the throw fails. Okay, so we're gonna go straight into the submission. I did this from the knees. I showed you guys this from the knees in a previous video and people messaged me like crazy asking for it from the feet. So here we have it. So I'm starting with my partner from my feet. So I'm just gonna get a basic grip, okay? There are two grips I have available for this sweep. I can get a sleeve and a far side collar, although there are risks of getting a, a, a I should say, a near side collar here. There are risks of getting this, so you're quite often better off getting this collar here. Okay, but it's up to you. As long as you act quickly, this one will work. Otherwise, this grip. So I've got a basic, like, judo grip here, and I'm now going to put my right foot behind my partner's leg. Now, if my partner doesn't do anything, I can just hop forward and then kick back, and I hit him with my near sotagari. However, if he's a bigger, stronger guy, better takedowns than me, that's not going to be easy. So I'm going to anticipate failure. So if I did this to my partner, he wants to push me back this way, okay? And I could fall over, he can get the takedown, that sucks for me. So let's turn it into something successful and bait him with the throw and submit him right away. So I'm here, I'm going to put my foot behind here, I hop, hop, as soon as I feel him resist, I fall down right in front of him like this. So my spine is running along this line and he's facing this way. And now, hanging off of him, I shoot my right shin up and I pump my hips up and I get the armbar here. And just finish, you'll be hanging off of them. So be very careful, it's a very easy one to get a break or a hyper extension. So let's have a look at this at real speed. So I'm here, I get my partner, I go for my throw, he resists, and I just come straight up. Now, if you're here, and for some reason maybe you can't get a tap, simply underhook his leg, take him over, and now take top position. So if he gets his arm out, it's no problem. We're here on top. Let's have a look at it one more time from this angle. I get my partner from my near Sotagari, come through, he resists, I fall and I hit. If I can't finish, underhook, take him over, and now I can finish the arm up from the top, or, just get to a top position, okay? So one of my students, Reese, he used this in a recent competition, and uh, he's a guy who should compete at higher age brackets, and he competed in the adult division just for the most challenge possible. And uh, by the end of the day, all of those matches, I think he fought uh, maybe 10 times in the day, uh, he was getting pretty tired. And not only did he get uh, his medal victory from this move, he also, fortunately, had a really short match. And that's the advantage of going for this kind of technique. You can turn a potentially five, 10 minute match into a 30 second match, which is just so valuable. Yeah, it's a cool submission, but it saves us a lot of energy, okay? And it is cool to do, let's face it. So there you go, guys. The standing version of the Asotagari to Armbar Drill. One of my favorites, make it work. It's easier than you think. I'm Coach Tom, I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you loved it. For more videos, click here. And if you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. I'm Coach Tom. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.